Dave, did you say this in Pump County, Florida? No, I didn't say that. They like that they put all the news on there whenever the sex offenders move into a new neighborhood. Really? That's neat. Yeah, I like it. I do, too. It's they the should. Sunshine law. They need to start putting those. Uh, branding them is what they need to do. I've already added it to bookmarks. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good idea if you live in Polk County and mm-hmm. Lakeland area. I you like really it. need to visit the uh, sheriff's office yeah. website. New sentition, Polk County, Florida, 10-3. That must be 11-3. Be aware that a sex offender has recently moved into your surrounding neighborhood. There he is. The predator's name is Danny Frank Torres Valentine, a 59-year-old white male. White male. What? Torres Valentine. Why are Mexican? That sounds Mexican to me. It kind of looks white, though. I think that's just how they go when they describe them, but they, that's a Mexican. Anyway, he stands 5'7", weighs 160 pounds, brown hair, blue eyes, and stylish to... Stylish to hang on brown hair, yeah. does it? No, it's mm. gray. It's yeah. gray as my hair. They got it wrong. They're going to get somebody raped. They're going to get raped. It says he's established a resident at 1411 Don Heights in Lakeland, Florida. He's supervised by the Florida Department of Corrections. People, if you got any children, you sure better be watching. Yes, you had. And watch yourself, too. Especially if you live in Florida. You lock must up be your children. Bad. Lock up your dogs. Lock up your husband. They're they going to rape they everyone up in here. They're going to rape everyone up in here in Polk, Polk County, Florida. You so dumb. We got your DNA. Here's the next one. Vernon Bennett. Vernon B- Brantley Vernon Bennett. 33-year-old, he's moved into your surrounding area. Intruder, intruder. He looks mean, don't he? Yeah, he does. What did he do? He has sexual battery with child under the age of 12. Shameful, shameful. Shame, 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 shame. He needs to be branded and he need, he shouldn't even be let out on the street again. He's moved into 8,800 Wee Farms Lane in Polk City, Florida. I wonder if they if they go out and do a an investigation of the area before they uh, allow them to move there. I sure would hope so. I hope there ain't no little small children. I hope not either. He looks boys. like a dirty boy. He's a dirty boy. He's a dirty monger, buddy. This next one's even better. This one is a transient sex. A predator, sexual predator, transient sexual predator. A transient. His name is Ulysses Smith, 41-year-old black male, standing 5'7", weighing 175 pounds. Mr. Smith established a transient residence near the parkway overpass by the intersection of Main <laughs> Avenue and Pavers Road. It means he's living up and under a bridge. And he sexual battery on a person over 12 with a weapon. With a weapon. He's a violent offender. Yes, sir, he's violent. You know you just don't that you just don't recover from that. You're I, always gonna be a uh, a violent offender. I don't even know why they let people like this out on the streets. I don't either. They need to be branded they so need to be that we can recognize them. They need to cash them, but they'd still yeah. find a way to they get their would. pleasures. They sure would. And here's our next one. Jose Sanchez Martinez Jr., 53-year-old Hispanic male, 5'6". I, I guess old Trump was right. Trump was right again. Trump was right again. And long conservatives. Long conservatives. Build that wall. <laughs> build that wall. Hey, I guess now it's too late to build that wall because he's already a uh, citizen of the United States. I'd say he is. <laughs> too late. Yeah. The Democrats win again. Listen, people. Liberals win again. Yes, they do. This is the one that the liberals ought to be living next to. Mm-hmm. Let's see if Nancy Pelosi wants this in a babysitting. Yeah, maybe she wants him to live uh, in her pool house. Yeah. She I bet old Schumer would like him. She spends enough money on plastic surgery. Maybe she'll spend enough money to oh, clean it up. They're like just good Florida. people. They're just good people who want to come over here and live the American dream. Yeah. Yeah, you took your American dream and flush it down the shot. You know what that means. <laughs> Little boys and girls. He, she flushed his, she flushed his uh, 
American Dream down to shatter. He said he's moved. He's established residence 2801 Avenue West, Northwest, Winter Haven, Florida. I wonder how they afford to pay for their rent and stuff, because you know that they don't uh, work or nothing. That's called government hire assistance. Of course, they do hire them. Yeah. I, I, with I Obama's, uh, um, with his new law where they're not allowed to do any background checks yeah. on him. He's probably working at your nearby Wendy's. Thanks, Obama. Got He's a sex offender living next Wendy's. door. Probably working at your grade school. Thanks, Obama. Got a sex offender living next door while my daughter's in the bathroom. He's looking through the window watching her shower. People better be doing their own background researches. Yes, they had. Go to watch, though. Well, what do you think, guys? Do you, are you a sex offender? Do you live next to one? Do you support these criminals? Are you ready for the wall? Will, Will the wall know? even help? Will it ever get done? That's what I want to know. Building the wall, building the wall. Building the wall, building the wall, building the wall. Have fun, guys. Let's know what you think.